How do you know when to recommend a bro to chair over a jury chair? As occupational therapy practitioners, sometimes making a recommendation for wheelchair can be hard, especially for a person that doesn't quite fit the norms of a standard seating and positioning. So I went right to the source and teamed up with Broda to help answer this question. But first, let's define what each of these are. What is a Broda chair? Broda is a wheelchair company that traditionally offers tilt and space positioning chairs with the Comfort Tension Seating R system which prevents skin breakdown through reducing heat and moisture for people in any type of healthcare setting, but commonly used in long-term care slash skilled nursing facilities or home care. Many times, I choose a Broda chair product for people that need a high level of positioning or special adaptations due to things such as severe scoliosis, knee contractures, skin breakdown, Huntington's or if they have had repeated falls. Broda products are classified as durable medical equipment. DME class some mechanical wheelchairs, IR, which means in some cases and jurisdictions Broda chairs and wheelchairs are available for funding. Because they are categorized as DME, they require per market clearance based on a much more extensive validation, established guidelines and standards, ensuring high safety, mobility and patient outcomes. What is a jerry chair? Conversely, jerry chairs, like the dry medical recliner are classified as mechanical chairs, INM which does not require FDA clearance or testing based on consensus standards. It is designed to allow someone who is mainly in bed to be able to sit comfortably in a variety of positions while being fully supported. Many times I may recommend a jury chair because the patient may need a more substantial and many times less restrictive seating platform than is provided by a conventional wheelchair. For clients that are non-ambulatory, jerry chairs can be comfy, roomier, Recline and are easier to lounge in. Let's go through some of the times you would want to use Broda wheelchairs via a jerry chair and then I will highlight some of the features that I love about Broda. When to recommend a Broda chair? 1. Change in condition. As the patient's condition progresses slash changes, it is important that they are reassessed to assure they continue to use equipment that will meet their needs, provide them comfort and keep them safe. The need for reassessment can be identified by a decrease in sitting tolerance, increased risk for slash or development of pressure ulcers, decreased ability to self-ambulate and slash or self-propel, implementing use of restraints to keep patients seated safely, including seat belts, soft belts, lap trays, etc. Increase in postural deviations such as head drop, lateral lean, slumping and sliding forward while seated, Broda Synthesis Tilt Recliner with Huntington Special Padding. Do change in medication, dosage, frequency, etc. Patients that are utilizing equipment that no longer meets their needs can result in symptoms and conditions that may cause a change in the use of medications. This can be identified by verbal and nonverbal cues such as increased reports of pain, complaints of new pain, behavior changes due to discomfort, pain, and inability to verbalize need, increased symptoms such as Swelling of the upper and lower extremities, numbness of the upper and lower extremities, back pain and hip pain. Protosynthesis transport chair. 3. Behavioral changes. Prolonged discomfort can cause increased pain and exasperate other symptoms facilitating a change in the patient's behavior. For patients who are unable to verbalize their needs, these changes may show in the form of frustration or aggression. This can be identified by verbal and nonverbal cues such as new or increased signs of aggression, new or increased episodes of frustration, increased attempts to exit the chair, increasing fall risk, behavioral changes such as aggression, crying, frustration, yelling, etc. Implementing use of restraints to keep patients seated safely, increase in use of psychotropic medications to calm patient. Broda's on for pedal rocker. 4. Increased time in bed. Decrease in ADL and social participation. The patient's sitting tolerance and ability to socialize may change due to using a wheelchair that no longer meets their needs. Over time, modular seating systems no longer provide the comfort they once did. When patients become uncomfortable sitting in their wheelchair, they begin to spend more time in bed, potentially increasing the risk for pressure ulcers, fall risks, and other issues. This can be identified by verbal and nonverbal cues such as increased pain, increase in use of pain and psychotropic medications, more time spent in bed, inability to socialize, resulting in isolation and depression, postural changes such as slumping, sliding and lateral lean while seated, increased symptoms such as swelling of the upper and lower extremities, numbness of the upper and lower extremities, back pain and hip pain. Some of my favorite Broda features, ability to drop seat height much more than a traditional wheelchair to get the person's feet in a good position on the floor if they are a foot ambulator. The Encore Pedal Rocker provides a caregiver activated gentle rocking motion for people that need the sensory input to reduce agitation. I have also used this feature to compensate for fluctuating rigidity or spasticity since it moves with the patient. They are pretty indestructible, 
I have had some of my most physically challenging patients use a Broda product because they have destroyed some of the other wheelchairs due to hypergonicity and severe tremors. You don't need additional cushions. The comfort tension seating feature provides all the pressure relief required. It can recline flat. This can certainly come in handy when a care partner needs to assist in individualized to leading needs. Great for people that are difficult to position such as someone with severe kyphosis or chorea due to Huntington's disease. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.